we are at the peak of where food and fun come together, right? We just came off of July 4th and, you know, lots of barbecues, lots of backyard fun, lots of just things that we all enjoy. And most of the time there was food included, right? Most of the time we were surrounded by hot dogs and hamburgers and ice cream and and good stuff, right? And likely some fruit too, right? Nothing says summer like a big watermelon. But here's the thing, we can particularly leverage this time of year to not only increase our activity because it's warmer, we're outside more, we're having more fun, but we can use it also to improve our nutrition because we're at the time of year where a lot of fresh fruit and vegetables are in season. So they're more easily accessible, they taste good, we're more active and alert and feeling good. So we're more inclined to try things that we wouldn't normally do, or that we have formed this opinion that we don't like something. This is a great time to experiment. And, you know, just like when you take on a new challenge, um, this is the time of year that that works best. And so I like to tell my clients that this is a great time. If you're looking to improve your nutrition, there's no better time to do it than right now. And the way to do that is to um, not deprive yourself of things you enjoy this time of year, but to look for ways to include new experiences, new foods that maybe you haven't eaten in a while, um, build on healthier routines that include more fruits, more vegetables, more water, the things that we know we should be doing in our diet every day that we don't typically think about. So the accessibility is there and the flavor is there. So it's very um, interesting to me that when you opt for more fresh fruit and vegetables in your diet, a lot of things people will say, well, I just don't like peppers. I just don't like strawberries, whatever it is. And the truth is, we are reawakening our taste buds, right? Because they've been programmed by all this processed food and sugar we eat all the time, that we have forgotten what real food tastes like. So when you use summer, when everything is fresh and ripe and ready and accessible, then you can really take yourself on a culinary journey here and experiment with a lot of different foods in a way that you're kind of almost tricking yourself um, to appreciate new flavors. And then through that, you develop new likes. So the other thing I like about this time of year is that often we can say, well, I don't have time to prepare meals. The other good thing about fresh fruits and vegetables is they're fresh fruits and vegetables. The majority of them you can eat raw or put them on the grill or, you know, however you like them. But it, it starts to just be easier to incorporate in our life when you combine the food and fun that we typically have at this time of year. If you're looking for personalized help, you can reach out to me at dragonspedapothecary.com.